thanks for coming to my channel today I'm really excited for what I have for you it's been ongoing since the summer and while some of the you know the video might not be in depth because when I started this I didn't think I would be doing this now I didn't have the mindset of you know an interior designer Ellie on but overall you'll be seeing some pictures and I hope it still gives you like a, a good picture of how this whole thing came about so stay tuned and keep watching so this is what our apartment bedroom looked like before and by this time I had already started making some changes like the shoe rack I built from scratch and also the dresser I already DIY'd before I started making the video here is a picture of what the curtains look like in our room. It was short and it wasn't doing anything for the room. And here I decided to do a gallery wall and using scrap paper to serve as guidelines. And this way it ensures that you're using the proper spacing before you actually start putting anything on the wall. Also after the gallery wall was done, I created this green panel to match the dresser with the wallpapers. But I decided I wanted to go for something more luxe and more calming for our bedroom space. And so I took that down. And now I am putting up this panel screens, which initially came in white. And I got them from Amazon, but I spray painted them to gold for the look I was going for in our bedroom. And here you just see me trying to work with the way I want it to be arranged. I wanted a wall sconce on this wall but previously I created a DIY one and here you'll see I'm actually getting a plug-in wall sconce and here are the items that you'll need and over here you just see me putting up the wall sconce on the wall it's actually pretty easy to do and quite satisfying <laughs> Basically, I started out by drilling holes into the wall after checking to make sure that the mounting plate I'll be using is going into the right um, position of the wall where I want it to be. And I also make sure to check the clearance of the closet on my left hand side to make sure when it's open, it doesn't hit the wall sconce. So there's quite enough space. And here I'm just screwing in the mounting plate after drilling the holes in the wall. And after screwing the mounting plate in here, I'm just now putting on the base of the wall sconce as well and screwing that, screwing that in too. And once this is nice and tight, and then I go ahead and screw in the lampshade as well as the light bulb that I'll use at the end. <laughs> here for this heater I really didn't like the way it was looking in our room and the apartment didn't really give us much of an option besides putting on a heater cover or building my own like I've seen a lot online I didn't think it would fit the way this heater was created especially you could see like where the vent is at the bottom so if I built one it would be awkward for this position and there's also this weird pipe that would just block a lot of things so anyway instead of doing that I 
went ahead and bought this vinyl wrap in silver and black and that's what I'll be using to cover the heater so once it's all done it basically just looks like like a cabinet situation going on in that corner or a pretty nook and I just love the way it turned out <laughs> accent wall on the room without having to paint especially since being in an apartment so I bought this pill and stick wallpaper from Target and it looks really great as soon as I saw it I fell in love with it and I really love how it turned out as well you'll see it too let me know what you think and please leave me a comment below <laughs> the wallpaper has been applied here is how it looks along with this family birthday plaque that I created as well and I actually have a video of how I made this plaque so I'll be linking that so you can watch it as well <laughs> There is also a bare wall in our room which I wanted to create a painting for. So here you see I have a paste mixture of baking soda, white glue and white paint that I use to create texture. And here you see that I'm, I've started to paint over that texture after it has dried. Basically creating like a sunset type of uh, drawing. And also here you see the picture that shows the um, build up of the shoe rack that I made and here's what it looks like after it's been stained in honey color I believe and here is the final look and after all that's been said and done for the room now we're just making the bed in using everything that I have and Trust me guys, bed making is so crucial. And here you'll notice that I'm only using the fitted sheet. To be honest, it's just real world, real life functionality. If you, you know, you're the type of person that uses the whole shebang. I mean, sometimes like I'll use the whole shebang, but in reality, I, you know, we, we use the fitted sheet most of the time only. And if you wanted to layer it up to make it feel warmer, then you would use the flat sheet as well. So it's really up to you, personal preference. <music> I 
got this down comforter from Amazon and I can't tell you how comfortable it is. Whew. <laughs> different angles of this plush throw blanket I honestly wasn't quite sure how to make it work <laughs> it's supposed to be a throw but obviously throwing it wasn't giving me the design I was looking at it from here now it's like okay any way I put it could have worked so I guess that's also personal preference <laughs> wanted to chip in right before I show you the after look of how the whole bedroom came about uh, there's a question I usually ask myself when I'm watching makeovers it's like where did all the clothes go hmm right I'm sure you're asking too but in any case the our clothes went to donation boxes nearby where they're at um, stores like Target I think they carry some donation boxes for clothes and also gas stations um supermarkets so we were able to drop off our clothes clothes that weren't sparking any more joy like Marie Kondo would say clothes that we haven't worn for a long time we were able to you know pack them up in bags and put them in there and then the rest we organized in the spaces that we had and their clothes that we need right now although hey there's no way to wear them too right but that's what we did with most of our clothes so I just wanted to come in and let you guys know and now for the after look
video, you guys. I really appreciate it that you guys are here. Um, that again, you know, with everything that's been going on, I'm just really glad that this video is out with life, with everything, and also just trying to wait for daytime to get these videos out the way. But then, you know, with daytime, that's when I have to be with the kids with their online schooling. So anyway, this is just an extra shout out also to parents. Keep going. You've got this. And again, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next videos. You can also watch my past videos to see some things that I've done in the room that I was able to show you guys. Until next time, bye.